All right, today I'm going to be putting water balloons in my vacuum chamber. Okay, so we know that water boils in a vacuum chamber, but what about if it's in a water balloon? Will the pressure from the balloon contracting be enough to hold the water in the liquid phase, or will it still expand and boil? Let's check it out and see what happens. So after I try the water balloons that have a little air bubble on top, the normal way of filling up a water balloon where air gets in it, I'm gonna try one that has no air bubble and see if it does the same thing. Okay, water balloons in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. You can see the air bubble that was on top getting bigger and bigger. Balloons are growing, it doesn't matter whether they're filled with water or air. So look how big that little air bubble is now. So there's more and more water vapor going into that air bubble. The water's gonna start to boil and it's gonna fill the balloon with water vapor now. Uh-oh, this guy on the left looks like he's gonna pop. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Whoa, and it started boiling, see? As soon as it came out of the water balloon, it started boiling immediately. So that means that the balloon was putting some pressure on it because it, it wasn't boiling like that in the balloon, but as soon as it popped, it just started boiling. Now we can't see these other balloons. So we can't really see these other balloons now, but now that we have so much water in there, it's keeping the pressure in the chamber high enough so these guys aren't expanding anymore. But this water's just, but this water's boiling a lot now. And when it was in the balloon, it wasn't boiling like that at all. Okay, look. Oh, one just popped. <laughs> Let's let the air back in. Three, two, one. Oh, it popped when I let the air back in. Okay, so you saw how that initially started to expand from that little bubble that was on top. It expanded bigger and bigger and bigger, and it eventually started getting filled with water vapor from the water in there. The water looked like it was slightly starting to boil, but as soon as that balloon on the left there popped, it immediately started boiling. So you know that it was at low enough pressure to boil outside of the balloon, but on the inside of the balloon, the pressure was still high enough that it wasn't boiling. So what I wanna try now is to not have any air bubble in the balloon. I think that's possible. I'm gonna go try, fill, try to fill one up and see if it's possible to not have any air bubble and see what happens. Okay, let's try this one more time in a water balloon that has no air bubble on top and see if it looks the same. Okay, water balloon with no air bubble on top. Three, two, one. So with the no air bubble now, it's not expanding, but the pressure is less on the balloon. So I can actually see now on top there is a small bubble, and that's due to the gas releasing from the liquid as the pressure decreases. So it's not boiling yet, but it is releasing some of the dissolved gas from the liquid. You can 
see that bubble on top. I'll get closer. You can see that bubble on top is now just growing. So all the dissolved gas is now coming out of the liquid. So that's increasing the volume somewhat, but not a ton. But as soon as it starts boiling, it'll really increase it. So you can see that no matter what I do, you're going to end up with a bubble in there because it releases the dissolved gas from the liquid. So this pressure, if it weren't in the balloon, the water would normally be boiling. It doesn't look like it's boiling. It's kind of hard to tell, but I think that's still just the dissolved gases dissolving out of the liquid. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to boil because the balloon is holding it tight enough that it's keeping the pressure high enough in there. So, so the gas that's on top of there now was the gas that was dissolved in the liquid. So this is oxygen and nitrogen in there, so it's air. So let's see what happens when I increase the pressure if it just dissolves back in. So I'm letting the pressure back in the chamber. Three, two, one. Okay, so the pressure's back in there. So if you remember when I started though, that bubble was not there. So that should eventually dissolve back into the liquid and shouldn't be there at all. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you liked this video. If you did and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. And you can comment in the comments section with any questions you have or what you'd like to see me do next time. And I'll see you next time.